So hello everyone. So I have created an instance which allowing HTTP traffic. And then now here I have, let me just increase the font size to show you a little bit better. Okay. So as you have clicked on this video, I imagine you want to just install a web server, simple web server. So I'll just show you how to do it. And then a little bit tips on advanced, you know, your website or maybe whatever it might be. So first we want to be the super user. So the basics pseudo SU, then you become a pseudo user. And then what you do, you just update all the packages using the package manager app. So you just update, takes a couple of minutes. And then next we, it's done perfectly. So now what we will do is we will install the HTTP server, which is we are using Apache. So we'll go to app, install Apache 2. So last click yes, we just give yes. Then once this is done, we will go on about seeing how this works processing okay now this is done what we will do is we will check whether it's up and running so we'll go here we'll click this or click here i'm just going to click this go here and paste it as you can see this is perfectly working as it says it works so now what do you, what you should do is if you want to see here default Debian document is the root slash so what this says is that the index HTML if you're familiar with websites there will be like a landing page or the home page the first page which is index so it's named index of HTML so that there is your first page so when you have a page for example home page that is the index.html so this is existing in this location in our VM instance. So what we do, we do ls, we paste it. As you can see, it says index.html. So now what we can do is just to show you very simply that this is working. We'll just do maybe hello or welcome. So we'll just use the echo saying like welcome user just just to show you some things and then add let's see show that music so now what we can do we can modify the file this one so we'll go on about doing this just copy it up just copy paste and then we will pipe it so we just the greater than symbol and then give the location of the oh location of the file location of the file and then the file name because that doesn't make sense because you want to write it in the file so that is index.html once this is perfect we'll go check it here just do a refresh and you can you can see welcome user so in this way you if you make changes if you just say you copy and paste a simple website which is just a front end in the HTML it can run here so now what we can do we'll make it a little bit more complex by just adding echo and let's say the host name let's say we want this name to be printed there so let's go and let me show you how to do that before dive deep in that deep into it so just give a dollar and then put this and then host name you see it says the instance one which is the, the name that has been named here so if you want just this or you want ip as well i supposing we don't need ip but just to show you this and we'll, we'll do the same again i think we'll just give this stick with this one and then we'll maybe we will write it to it that way this is a little bit cooler so all you have to do is you have to go here and then 
I just added that's literally inside the quotes, obviously. Hello, welcome. Uh, welcome. You don't want to welcome user. This is a transmission from. Now we will give the dollar. Oh, when you give your host name. And I guess that's it. You enter, probably it will have been wrong. So welcome user, this is a transmission from instance one. So in case you want to build a website and you want to host it in TCP, I would suggest doing the same way, just install a web server. So if it's a simple website, you just all you have to do is connect it and then in the HTML and XML and then you run it. Maybe you have to do some con configuration so that you change this to having a domain. Don't worry, if you want that, I'll make a video on that. I hope this was very helpful for you because it's a simple understanding. So we will dive, dive deep into my playlist so that you are, learn a bit more about GCP and what are the services it can offer.